gamification in diabetes management. So we all like game and I will take you through the game of diabetes. Uh, but as an organizing uh, committee, I again welcome you all for this DiaCareCon 2024 and whatever the brochure you have, there is a date for DiaCareCon 2025 also, so please book that date. And yes, what is the problem? Problem of diabetes, uncontrolled diabetes. When I was passed out in 2012 and the paper of ICMR study 2014 says that person with HbA1c less than 7, they are uh, roaming around 30%. Then 2019, one more study of India, again HbA1c percentage of people, male, female with again around 30%. In 2022, one more follow-up study from the ICMR Again, still says that our people, prevalence of people with diabetes having HbA1c less than 7% is still 36%. So from the whole decade, the great, you know, innovation has come, our therapeutic management has uh, changed, but still, we are where we were. And that's why, one unique thing which is there in diabetes care, and that is need of continued behavior self-regulation. You know, a person with diabetes, it spends on an average only six hours of there with the healthcare professional. So rest of the time, there are 8,754 hours per year they are doing by themselves. They are regulating themselves. This is a unique characteristic of diabetes management and this is where I think as a healthcare professional, as a whole community, perhaps we are failing to meet this need of diabetes care. If you find out, you know, coping with diabetes management, of course, medicine is there. It, it includes medications as well as diet, advice, exercise, therapy, everything. But two more aspects of diabetes management are social management, where you include the support from your community, your family, your friends, as well as emotional management, you know. And that is one of the now emerging aspect where we need to work upon. And what, as you know, uh, Dr. Manohar sir has also told, what we require is motivation, motivation, motivation. But what is this motivation? Let me see, you know, uh, we, we have come across two types of motivations are there. One is extrinsic and intrinsic. Extrinsic is like, you know, <coughs> in the clinic, as a doctor, I am saying, boss, you should do this, you should do this. In the family, people are saying, you should do this, you should not do this. So that creates uh, some kind of, control motivation or extrinsic motivation, but it will not work until a person is having intrinsic motivation. So in general, motivation means to set in motion. You will be thinking this guy is talking rubbish, you know, he was supposed to talk regarding game and now he is just saying psychiatry lecture, but yeah, this is the base for this game. Uh, what happened? Okay. So. If you think of one basic pyramid of need, this was uh, prescribed by Abraham Maslow, that intrinsic human motivation, we deal across you know, three basic kind of uh, intrinsic motivation. One is to have our basic needs, physiological needs and safety need. If they are satisfied, then uh, we will urge for psychological needs and there usually you know, we finish it up. So our own self-fulfillment need even for the diabetes care management it's not there and that's why for a people of diabetes their own health even all of us you know i don't think but in our society our own health is given the last priority because somehow this management or uh, this uh, system is not able to give this self-fulfillment need for a person with diabetes in general or uh, this is a self discrimination determination theory says that you know you should have competence relatedness and autonomy and this is a uh, science of uh, improving the health behavior where it says if uh, this intrinsic motivation is put upon in a nice way better way if it is giving satisfaction a person's behavior will be having want to otherwise the behavior will be have to so it is in our hand, we have to have that system that can shift from have to to want to. Then only we will create the positive atmosphere to bring the change in the behavior. But motivation alone cannot work. It requires something extra for the behavior change and that is capability as well as opportunity. 
capability as again sir Ed said you know a person with osteoarthritis you are saying come on boss you need to run that's not the case you should not do it and opportunity you should see his social as well as surrounding atmosphere whether it will be applicable to them or not that will bring the behavior change this is a, a busy slide suggesting you know cycle of uh, wheel of behavior change but behavior are usually short lived until unless they are reinforced they should be that should be some rewarding system for that and that reward if it is there the behavior will become in the automaticity you know we have learned in our physiology days uh, paulo's uh, pouch you know where without any stimulation again you will find the response so that is something you know uh, behavior change with reward and this is the whole science which determines the uh, health behavior change how we can bring it you know we can have risk perception along with outcome expectancy and self efficacy you just we are doing risk perception we are saying you will develop this 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 but that patient must get outcome expectancy as well as self efficacy that we will have to make them realize that with the realistic goal proper planning individualized planning take the initiative try to maintain it and this is a cycle a stage of the uh, change model you know where at the contemplation stage where willingness to change if it is there we should go for preparation action and this whole cycle goes on we should keep watch here where we will not allow them to go into the relapse after maintenance and that's why you know we thought of one pioneer project having some model called diabetes freedom model the game of diabetes when i say diabetes freedom model i don't mean that person will not require medicine it is to give a freedom to our people with diabetes to live a good healthy quality life with diabetes so of course in any game there are rules and regulation as of now we have kept it for the people with type 2 diabetes only it can be joined by the recommendation of qualified healthcare professional there will be three stages for each stage there will be point system there will be rewarded and that can you know keep the uh, person with diabetes busy and going on it is built based on the principle of golden triangle of learn do and teach if i learn i only know but again it will not benefit me if i will not implement it so learn do and even if i do it is not you know long lived i will have to start teaching this thing to my other fellow colleagues on the day one only whatever i know then only it will be uh, becoming into my behavior so based on this golden triangle of learn do and teach we have formulated uh, this model uh, on this three stages you know uh, that is a freedom model uh, stage of learn then 30 days challenge that is a freedom challenge where they will you know asked to do the things and we will not leave them and uh, people with diabetes once they are doing appropriately they are getting result they will be involved to educate the other people with diabetes that uh, we can tell them and the rewards you know uh, let's let's think of uh, i am a person with diabetes and my doctor is giving me some designation some certificate or some kind of you know a reward that now you are a freedom finisher so that that perception that self realization motivates them a lot to get the next day so usually uh, we run this uh, first stage of uh, freedom model that is freedom formula over the three days two hours a day there is a pre recorded session we educate them with that we ask them to provide just only this time they learn the few basic thing we will evaluate them with the mcqs and of course on the completion they will be rewarded with the certificate as well as gift also and they are entitled to reach on to the next stage the next stage freedom challenge where it will be the completely 3 month challenge where again they will learn something based on how to do the things and you all are aware must be you know we have coined diabetes health score that is blue index and it consists of this 10 parameter which is uh, one of the comprehensive way to have the follow up of people with diabetes and this 10 parameters we educate our people with diabetes how to control how to get a hold on this 10 parameters a1c blood pressure cholesterol diet exercise follow up general health habits infection or vaccination and geopardy of diabetes management again it will be have the self assessment and 
MCQ format and they will be recorded and they will be awarded. Along with this, there will be a live education over the three months weekly session for the 10 modules. Again, this will be the live session for one-to-one -one communication for people with uh, diabetes. It will be taken by the doctor as well as the educator. So once first session is taken by the doctor and then after two days, the same session will be taken by the educator to discuss if they are having any difficulties or not in the management. So just sparing two hours of their week and they will be able to learn it and they will be able to implement every week they will be given the task you need to do this thing for this week and they will have to submit their result what uh, monitoring uh, advice they will be given and they will submit on the platform and based on the completion of this based on the getting this uh, uh, submission of the result also there is a you know a point system and this point system will make them to complete this game stage two and they become diabetes freedom achiever uh, provided they must get the diabetes health score of 45 uh, or more and once they are achiever then they will be again encouraged more to educate the other people with diabetes we will involve them to become the diabetes educator they will be allotted again five or ten people with diabetes to educate upon and this service again they will not do free of charge we are giving incentive for them also so think of a person with type 2 diabetes who was on the day one spending for themselves and after controlling their own sugar now he is earning from that and that's the biggest reward for them and that has made it possible so we have uh, Describe this uh, model into the three stage from the freedom finisher to freedom achiever and diabetes freedom master our experience where we learn this project and a pilot base uh, Over the six months, you know uh, all the patients who are Coming to the clinic we have offered them whether you will be able to do it or not those who are accepting uh, so initially till the data available uh, before last four to five months uh, uh, there were signing in 370 people with diabetes and number of the patient who have played the game and completed six months they were 283 and you can see the uh, mean change in the average uh, uh, change in the HbA1c as well as percentage of people achieving A1c less than seven and this IDF 20 uh, 25 next IDF you know we are going to present with the whole one year data with that so this is the, our experience where we were able to get the HbA1c into the target and more than 40-45% of people have achieved the A1c less than 7 in this month, in the 6 months of span. And of course, because now they are getting rewards, they will be maintaining. Because once they will deviate from A1c target more than 7, they will be off the platform. So they will have to maintain it. And that's the way we can, uh, you know, think of to have long particularly control diabetes for their whole life. So this model of gamification concept give them intrinsic motivation with the reward, with the self-realization. And of course, it gives you pleasure when you are doing something good for others. It will not give us pleasure when we are doing for us. So uh, think of a person who was not controlling diabetes and now he is getting some compliment from other people with diabetes ki boss, your, because of your advice now I am able to live my life happily with the diabetes and that is what we want. And so this was a whole gamification concept in diabetes management. Of course in future we are have going to be more techno savvy. We will have one diabetes assistant our own Indian Diabetes Assistant Madhu AI which we have incorporated people will get the, that benefit also with this gamification platform so of course uh, more is going to come but this was the to uh, you know initiate all of us how a uh, concept of gamification in diabetes management can be helpful so that was all from my side thank you